I'll tell you, one of the things we do is we actually do a ride along with a couple of private investigators who um, are working for a famous musician um, who, who has a stalker and a really dangerous stalker. And that same guy now has his sights on Taylor Swift as well. Big Boys Neighborhood. All righty, it's always a pleasure to have this gentleman in the neighborhood, man, especially when we speak about other people. Harvey Levin from TMZ, welcome back to the neighborhood, Harvey. Pleasure to have you back, my man. Love being in the neighborhood, big boy. Hey, man, we've had some great chances to sit down, man, and get kind of the inside when it comes to TMZ investigates. And now there is more investigations that's going down with, with TMZ. And we got to speak on what we're about to see with these uh, next few episodes that's coming up as well. Uh, today, we are doing um, a series for Fox Network um, in prime time, uh, TMZ Investigates. It'll be on at 9 o'clock in the evening, 8 mm -hmm. Central. And we are kicking it off with um, a really troubling documentary, Big Boy, about stalkers and about how yeah. obsessed and dangerous stalkers have become in Hollywood. And I am talking, I, I mean, I'll just give you an example. Taylor Swift, you will hear her saying um, that she has wound dressing, wound dressing in her home because so many stalkers have come to her home armed. She said the reality is she could get shot. And if she does, she needs something to save her life. That's how crazy this has become. The laws are deficient. Police don't often step in to help. Mm -hmm. And even though these are rich, famous celebrities, they are left to their own devices. And I got to tell you, it is so scary what is going on with stalkers right now. Um, it is a revolving door in jail. They're there for a couple of days. They get out and they go right, right. to it. Hey, Harvey, do you feel like it's more stalkings going on now and not because is it social media we're starting to see it more or do you feel like there's just more of a presence because people feel like okay i can get next to this star i can get next to this person because we're starting to see them a little bit more i think it's 90 percent social media yeah what happens with social media and this is and and when you talk we've talked to police we've talked to private investigators they all say this that when you look at social media, I'll give you an example. I mean, uh, Selena Gomez, she has over 300 million Instagram followers. For the obsessed fan who has a mental uh, uh, illness, disorder, um, a lot of them think that the social media is really a ruse, that the celebrity is talking to them and them alone. Mm. And they feel like they now have a relationship, a connection with them because of social media. They're not thinking of it as Selena has 300 million followers. Right. They're thinking of it as she's talking to me. We're in a relationship and it's really exacerbated the problem. And, you know, you're going to hear, um, you know, I, you know, a lot of people think this is all, you know, women, you know, who might be overpowered by a big guy. We interview Logan Paul, who is a WWE USA star champ. 6'2", 220 pounds, he is so scared based on a guy that broke into his home. He has bodyguards and cameras and all these things now because he's just not safe. You're We've seen it many a times as well, man. We've seen it with LL Cool J house being, you know, someone coming to his home. Yeah. We've seen it with Chris Brown. We've seen it, you know, even one of our coworkers here, you know, she had to put a restraining out order out on someone. The person even kept breaking the restraining order. Uh, we found him in the bathroom downstairs. So it's 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 very scary when it comes to this. And and also with TMZ investigates, do you guys get a chance to talk to anyone that is the stalker? We don't talk to stalkers. I, I did not want to do an interview. Right. With stalker, but we have plenty of videos where you will see right. what they do, and it's frightening. I mean. Uh, yeah, I I'll give you one example. I mean, we have this one video, big boy, where Paris Hilton had this stalker who was really dangerous. She gets a restraining order against this guy and she thinks he goes away. Six months later, another stalker comes around. So she is at the courthouse walking in to get a restraining order against the second guy. And all of a sudden, as the cameras are rolling, suddenly the first guy shows up 
They, she hadn't seen anything of him in six months and charges her. It's all on camera. And the bodyguards tackle him, but he almost gets to Paris. And so, you know, these restraining orders, you mentioned it. I mean, the, the stalkers are the least likely people to follow a restraining order mm -hmm. because, because they have a mental illness, a lot of them, and they're delusional and they don't follow them. And even if they get picked up and go to jail, Big boy, it's like two or three days, and they're out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know that. And and even throughout my career, I've had some encounters where I was like, okay, well, that was kind of that was kind of strange. Yeah. That was kind of strange. And yeah. and even now with social media, and we've seen it, and I've seen it, you know, in the neighborhood as well, where the person really thinks that you're talking to them. Or why are you in that picture with, you know, ex-celebrity? You know, I, I heard you this morning, and I, and I heard the shout-out, like, I see it and I get it all the time, man. And just watching, there's another one that I had a chance to check out. It was like, I'm a stalker. And just seeing and talking to, you know, seeing these stalkers speak as well, it is a very scary world, especially when you get one and you don't know what you're doing right or what you're doing wrong. If you entertain it, that's the problem. If you if you ignore it, that's a problem. There is like no middle of the, the road that you could walk that path to understanding, you know, when it comes to your safety yeah. as well. There's no solution. You're absolutely yeah. right. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, I'll tell you, one of the things we do is we actually do a ride along with a couple of private investigators who um, are working for a famous musician um, who, who has a stalker and a really dangerous stalker. And that same guy now has his sights on Taylor Swift as well. So we're driving around and he's telling us this story that this particular stalker he's looking for, they got a restraining order against him a year ago. And there is a local um, a local law enforcement agency, a police department in this area, in the L.A. area. Um, about a year ago, this P.I. went to the police department and said to the police chief, you've got to serve this guy with a restraining order. We've got the restraining order. Please serve him. And the police chief said, you know, we read that another police department back east tried serving him with one and he attacked the cops. We don't want our officers in danger. So we're just not going to serve the order. And that's. What oh, my we're God. With. Yeah. And and that's today, Monday. That's that, that's the kickoff for us. Tonight with TMZ investigates tonight at nine o'clock, eight central. That's the kickoff with the stalkers episode. But we're also doing we're doing a really interesting one, big boy, on Kanye. We're doing yeah, uh, man. We're doing this crazy one on this OnlyFans murder where the woman was come becoming the next Kim Kardashian. And then we're doing one. Uh, d did you ever see um, Poltergeist? Yes. Do you remember? Yes, I have. Do you remember the young actress who is outside and screams, "What's happening?" It became like the iconic mm -hmm. line. Her name was yes. Dom Her name was name was Dominique Dunn. Dominique Dunn um, was becoming a huge star. She was strangled to death by her ex boyfriend, who was a very famous chef in L.A. Worked with Wolfgang Puck. And I have covered. I've been in journalism for forty five years. I've covered, I think, thousands of cases, including O.J. Simpson, the Dominique Dunn case is the biggest miscarriage of justice I have ever oh, wow. heard or seen. And we do this as one of these documentaries. And big boy, I'm telling you, it will make your blood boil when you see what happened. And we dug up a lot of stuff in this case. And the people you're gonna hear from, what this guy did after, it, it, you're just not gonna believe it. And you know, just from the past TMZ investigates, bro, we think sometimes, for one, if you don't know the story, you guys do an extremely lovely deep dive, but even stories that we know, and once TMZ does a TMZ investigates, things that we even thought we knew, we had no idea. Like the TMZ investigates for 9-11, I thought I knew 9-11. I had no idea. I, I know- Michael Jackson. My, Michael Jackson, the deep dive for TMZ investigates with Michael Jackson. I can't imagine what this Kanye West one is gonna look like. It's really interesting i'll tell you we're just uh we're just putting the finishing touches on it um it's really interesting
man, what's cooking over at TMZ right now? Have you ha, have you had a chance to sit down? I don't know if you're giving three hours of your life to Cat Williams, but have you had a chance to see any of that Shannon Sharp, Cat Williams? Like it, we, he, they started off 2024 with a bang, over of 50 course. million views. Of course. I mean, that that went everywhere. That was, what did you think of that? You know what, man? I think that for one, I thought it changed the tone of 2024. I was like, ah, this is where we're going in. And as as grown men sitting down having a conversation, okay, you throw many things up against the wall, something's gonna stick. But it's crazy that it's 50 million plus views. Shannon Sharp got over 900,000 new subs on YouTube. There's so many, yeah, because it's crazy because people lean towards and, and gravitate towards the negativity. You know, there were some beautiful things said in that as well. As you know, him paying for Melbourne Moore Star, him being a foster father for seven kids, but everybody bypassed that because it was Steve Harvey. It was, you know, Cedric the Entertainer. It was ludicrous. It, it, you know, it, it was something for everybody. I was sitting there waiting for my name. I was like, oh my Lord, <laughs> <laughs> what is he going to say about me? You know, but, but yeah, I, I think that, you know, there's an audience for that. And we see sometimes Harvey that people really thirst are and are thirsty for you know negativity and and i think that's that's you know i think that's what pe people love to watch the auto accident as they're passing by on the freeway you take a look at it a hey, big boy for decades 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 um you know the phrase if it bleeds it leads mm -hmm. damn you know what for decades 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 i didn't know that but i know it now <laughs> there and i'm going to use that i'm going <laughs> to use that what about uh uh nick cannon i see that nick cannon is uh surfacing again on tmz yeah one of our photogs got him out and um you know it, it it's really interesting about nick cannon because we were talking about it literally um in our morning meeting today um and you know nick cannon has such a an amazing career with wild and out with oh, yeah. att with all of the things he's done with acting and just so much that he's done. Yet, if you were playing Family Feud with Nick Cannon today, what if you said, what is Nick Cannon best known for? What's the number one answer, big boy? Uh, many kids. Ding. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and we were There's many kids on the board. Ding, number one answer. That's what we were talking <laughs> about. Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. And all the accolades, and we go whoop, straight to that. Right. Right. And, and that's what else? Amazing. What else is cooking over there at TMZ? Do I need to give you guys a scandal for myself for 2024? I need something. I, I need the ratings. I need the subs. I need everything. Do I, do I, do I go out and get myself arrested, Harvey? What, what do I do? Do I just keep staying on this positive road or I, I like, what happens I like, here? I like you positive. How's that? Okay. All righty. Because, man, the last TMZ coverage that I got was when you got, you, let me tell you, you covered my getting hit by that drunk driver who turned out to be like a DA. And I know you've covered so many things. You probably don't remember as well as I, but when I got hit by that drunk driver, immediately before I got out the car, TMZ cameras were there. They documented everything. And the way that I found out that it was a, 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 a former DA, a DA, he got stripped, was I was literally doing TMZ live with you and Charles, right? And you guys had me in queue. And you were like, yeah, you know, a popular radio, radio disc jockey, big boy was hit by a drunk driver, so on and so forth. So I'm watching you guys on the monitor. And then you guys are like, the tease was like, and you won't believe who hit him. And I'm sitting here like, shit, who hit me? <laughs> and then when you guys started going into he's a DA and my mouth dropped and immediately somebody in production must have said, bring up big boy. Because you guys are like, big boy, you didn't know. I was like, man, I had no idea. Just like how I find out everything about everyone else on TMZ, I found out about me <laughs> on TMZ. You know? I like the story. Oh my God, bro. And anytime somebody bring it up, Harvey, I'll say, oh, go to TMZ and just type in uh, big boy gets hit, hit by a drunk driver. So bring I'm it back glad, to TMZ. I'm glad you're okay. I am more than okay, man. Especially once I got the uh, the lawsuit, you know, and then that really right. made me okay. Right, yeah, right. you know, because you know you got to fake all. Well, anyway, you got to you know, you know I was hurting my back, my neck, my back, like everything. TMZ investigates. We know you got Kanye. We know that we get a chance to see the stalker. The stalker. 
Is there anything else that's coming? And is it a weekly, Harvey? Is, is it every week, Monday every, night? Every every Monday night, nine o'clock, uh, eight central on Fox Network. Um, and boy, there's one big boy I can't tell you about right now, but I'm so excited about it. I think we've landed it. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, so this isn't even in the vault, or your this you haven't even started no, this one. Like, oh no, no, no. We we've produced some of them, but right. We, but this one that you're speaking about uh, this one um i'm hoping that we will shoot it in the next week and a half and it's just gonna man be what is it harvey oh come on yeah yeah just tell me you, and estevan and the crew and everybody remember, jose remember when connie chung did an interview famously said i just whisper it to me <laughs> no right yeah no can you just, okay well if you can't say it write it down and hold it to the screen and i'll say it <laughs> no that way, hey Harvey, when you do TMZ investigations, like when you think about the stalker and everything like that, does it make you, does it put you on your P's and Q's a little bit more because you had a chance to do a deep dive into so much information? Well, it's upsetting. I mean, it's really, yeah. I'll tell you, when you watch this, it's just really upsetting. And what, what really kind of resonated with me is everybody thinks that when somebody's a celebrity, oh, they're rich, they're famous, they can protect themselves. It, you know, Logan Paul, for example, He's spending several million dollars a year on security and he can afford that. Taylor Swift can afford it. But there are a lot of people who are famous who don't make that kind of money and right. they can't do it. And if they can't do that, who's protecting them? Right. And it's a scary world out there right now. And, you know, it really kind of heightened my sense of awareness of what a huge problem this is. And I think <laughs> that's telegraphed in the documentary. And even when we take, and I'm pretty sure, Harvey, there's something to learn for everyone, because even when you take celebrity out of it, it's stalking with, you know, at the workplace, just in common relationships, relationships. your ex, yeah. your, yeah, it, it is so much out there. And like you, and like we were speaking on earlier, Harvey, it's like, it's not an immediate gavel of, you know, this is not going to happen. There's right. jail time. It's, it's just, it's almost like it's so slippery. Because dealing with it with coworkers and through my career, and especially now, it seems like it's even worse to try to get some some kind of justice when it comes to being stalked. It, you know, it's worse until it gets violent, and right. then it's often too late, and that's the problem. And nobody's coming up with solutions to this. Um, it is a scary, frightening thing. And even with the OnlyFans model that killed her boyfriend, right? right. When you when we saw that on the surface, it was like, oh, she killed her boyfriend. You know, she 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 cut him up. Now with TMZ investigates, you guys do a deep dive, a deeper dive, where you also kind of bring different sides and 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 a human nature to that as well. Oh yeah, you are gonna yeah. learn a lot. I mean, we've interviewed her parents for they've never spoken out. You're gonna hear what her defense is. I mean, everybody's only heard what the prosecution said. Right. You're going to hear what her defense is here as well. And it, it is a gripping documentary. And again, this is a woman who was modeling herself after Kim Kardashian. And now this. Um, so you will hear a lot of new things in this. Mm. Harvey, do you have an OnlyFans page? I do not, big boy. <laughs> oh, man, you leave leaving money on the table, Harvey. <laughs> you, you leave leaving money on the table. Because I see you, Harvey, you like you work out, you got your beard game together, man. <laughs> You probably didn't didn't Snoop just say like only fans. It was, was like I was gonna mention that to you. I was <laughs> yeah. gonna mention that to you. The Snoop thing is hilarious. The Snoop thing, the the, the story <laughs> that, that that OnlyFans supposedly offered him up to a hundred million dollars to show his penis on OnlyFans, and his wife said, uh uh Man, let me tell you, bro. If I know <laughs> if somebody offered me, they offered uh, dog what a hundred million yeah. to show his penis, bro. Let me tell you, man. <laughs> You offer me, let you offer me thirty seven hundred dollars. I'm gonna really think hard on it, because I got a lot of bills and a lot of family that I take care of. Offer me thirty seven thousand, and we can negotiate it down to fifteen thousand. I'm gonna show it. But Harvey, you're leaving money on the table. If they if they're gonna give dog, excuse me, I'm leaving money on the table. And yes, you're willing to settle for thirty seven thousand dollars. Seriously, but yeah, that's thirty seven thousand. I'm gonna pick up off the table. Oh, you leaving you leaving all of it on the table, man. <laughs> if dog can get a hundred million to show his, 
Harvey, it's a whole okay. different world. And you, you could do a Harvey. Think about this. this let me pitch go. this. You could go. do a you could do a Harvey no, no, TMZ wanna, penis no. investigates. <laughs> no, no Harvey TMZ penis investigates. No, we, we, you we do a great. All right, back. Harvey. It's it's obvious, man. Oh, you got tunnel vision. All right, <laughs> once again, TMZ tonight. TMZ investigates, man. And every Monday night is it nine eight central, and then the next day is it available on Hulu because it's on It'll Fox. On Hulu the next day. Man, I appreciate you, Harvey. And I'll call you. I'll text you later because I know this was a techie conversation to have live. So I'll text you later and, and we'll do a breakdown of how we're going to build up our uh, OnlyFans page. Okay, that's a, deal. that's a deal. Harvey, always a pleasure speaking to you, my brother. You have yourself a great day. You too, big boy. Harvey, 11 TMZ investigates right here, Big Boy's Neighborhood.